Oh, man. He is um, He's a very unique young quarterback. He's a guy that uh, I really wish we would have played like week one through four when he was still trying to figure out this game. Um, you know, I know – I know the knocks that were on him coming out. I have not seen any of that. I've seen a guy that um, high-level processor, quick decision maker, um, sees the field way better than you'd think a rookie would. Um, and a big part of that is just his poise. Like, he is he is the opposite of skittish in the pocket. He is very comfortable to sit in there. Um, you know, he's got a lot of contact courage, doesn't mind getting hit, uh, will deliver the ball. Um, yeah, he's he's doing an amazing job, especially for a rookie. An amazing job. I mean, I mean, they're they're leading the league in, in yardage. You know, from a passing perspective, that is unheard of from a rookie's perspective. Jeff, yeah, how's it been seeing uh, Ashton's kind of journey to what has been? It seems like every time he's out there now, he's making some kind of game changing play. There's no doubt. I've seen him get to this point. Yeah, it's it's just one of those guys that you absolutely pull for. I don't know if you guys have gotten an opportunity to really get to know the the young man, but um, comes to work just with the, an amazing attitude. You know, he's a guy that obviously wants to be out there for every single snap, especially on defense, and um, and we've had conversations regarding that. And he's worked his butt off to to find a role on our defense. And um, although he doesn't play every snap, you'd never know that he doesn't. Just the 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 approach that he has, the positive mindset. Obviously, I've, I've learned the game. Um, I think being in this organization, being around guys like, like Robert Sala, um, being around guys like Tony Oden, Mark Juan Manuel, uh, Mike Rutenberg, this entire defensive staff, um, Aaron White Cotton, they have just, they've all taught me an immense amount of football, you know, and, and at the same time, you know, I've, I've just observed, and offensively, just the, the approach of, of how to teach, how to motivate, how to connect to people. And, um, and it's just something that I'm constantly pushing myself in all those phases to get better at, you know. So uh, I'd like to say that I've improved in, in all those facets, you know, but that's probably a better question for, for others. Is there anything that has to change defensively now that Adrian Amos is on that Houston defense can potentially give some of the stuff that you guys worked on here? Yeah, I mean, there's there's little things, but we it's things that we do anyway. A lot of times you'll play teams that are familiar with you um, from a coaching perspective, sometimes from a player's perspective, like we have this particular week with with Amos. Um, but it's it's not a whole lot, you know, like hand signals, maybe a little bit of verbiage, but but not much.